Oh. Give me some water. Hello, my name is Luis Gonzalez. Today we're gonna do some Mexican candy tasting with David, and he's gonna go ahead and rate him from one to 10. The first one we're gonna do is Mazapan de la Rosa. Try not to let it fall apart when you eat it. Oh, Just... it already broke. <laughs> he already broke it. So it's like this. <laughs> we're gonna make a mess here. Got like a sweet taste to it. Yeah, I don't know how this is your least favorite. I like the spicy stuff. This is really good. A lot of nuts in there, a bit chalky. I give it a six and a half out of 10. Okay. My rating is probably like a um, six out of 10. All right, so the second one we're gonna try is called Duvalin. And this is kind of just like similar to Nutella. It's like hazelnut. Comes with a little spoon too, so you can scoop it up. I'm trying to get all three of the flavors. Mm. It's a little strong. The strawberry kind of overpowers the, the hazelnut and vanilla. If I had some pretzels, I'd, I'd probably throw it on some pretzels. I probably would give this a, a seven. I'd give it a, give it a five and a half. All right, the next one is Bubalu. This is my favorite gum ever. There's gonna be a little juice inside of it, like the first couple chews of it, golden. We got the juice coming out. Mm -hmm. Me and my sister would put like 10 pieces in our mouth and just try to blow the biggest bubble and you can blow some good bubbles with this. I like this one. It's like Hubba Bubba, but that little burst of, I think this one is like a strawberry jelly that it has inside. Gives it a nice kick. I'll give this a seven and a half. I like, I enjoy this one. Yeah, this is a 10 for me. <laughs> <laughs> a little higher than me. Okay, so our next one is gonna be the original pulparindo. This is just tamarindo, so it's like a fruit. It's got a little maybe kick to it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, get him some water. Yeah, uh, really pungent. And then on top of it, it's got like a spice to it. If I compared it to something, it's like an airhead, but not nearly as good as, good as a flavor. Like someone put some pepper flakes on it. It's not what I think of when I'm eating an airhead. <laughs> yeah, that's that Mexican candy. It's like just kind of the spiciness to it, I feel like. So I truly enjoy spicy food. Just. Spices and candy just don't really me mesh well for me. It definitely is not for some people, for sure. Yeah, no, that's that's not for me. That's a, that's a solid two and a half out of ten. Two and a half, okay. I thought you were gonna say zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is probably like a six for me. All right, the next one is mango sucker. You can see how it's just covered in some chile. You gotta suck all the chili off to get to the sweet part, so good luck. Yikes. Mmm. So good. No. Nope. You gotta, get, you gotta get to the sweet no, fire, No, man. that's so much spice. Zero. Zero. It's like they put chili flakes on a lollipop and then coated the outside with cayenne pepper before you can get to something sweet. If you can somehow get past the chili and then the chili's not so much, it becomes really good. That is not what I envision candy to be. You enjoy it. You could have mine too. If you yeah, want. this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now this is... You got some chocolate? This is the bee's knees right here. Is this chocolate? <laughs> no, none of this is chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> this is called the uh, Reyerindos. And it looks like a peanut. Is it spicy? Not really, it's like sweet. I think you'll really like this one. It's like a hard candy. And then once you kind of get to the middle of it, it's kind of like chewy, mm -hmm. like kind of like gum. Yeah, this one's good. These are really addicting. I feel like I'll eat one of them, and by the time I know it, I'm like down seven of them. And my mouth starts to get really raw. This makes your mouth raw, but the spicy one didn't. Mm -mm. Really? Interesting. This one's got a good flavor to it. Yeah. It's a little tart, so I enjoy it. Nine out of 10. Got a winner. What's ten your out rating? 10? 10? 10 out of 10 for me, yeah. Okay, so the next one is gonna be Pelon. This is a cute one, it's mini. Cap it open, 
So yeah, he's like pelon, no hair, and then you squeeze him and then all his hair is coming out. If you can put the whole thing, squeeze it out and put a whole thing in your mouth, it's pretty impressive. No, I'm not doing the whole thing and putting it in my mouth. This is a But big... I'm gonna try to get it to stand up. He's no longer pelon. <laughs> now he's got a full head of hair. My dad would buy me a big old bag of them and I would just take him to school and have like my friends like try him out and stuff. Me just trying to do my hustle, like just sell two for a dollar. It was a good time. They, the Americans really like this one, I feel like. Spoken like a true businessman. This is one of the better ones. I give this one like a seven and a half to eight. I, I, I like this one. I probably would give this a, a seven. So our last one is gonna be Lucas Polvos. Oh, Ooh, that it's kind of like sour. That went straight up my nose. <laughs> oh, it's like when you put with too much wasabi. Oh, it just went straight up my nose. Yeah, but it's got a good mango flavor. I like. It's kind of interesting how it's just like polvo. It's just like kind of sand. Really pungent. As soon as it hits, like my tongue is feeling it. I give this one an eight, eight and a half. Oh wow. Yeah, this this one's good. Yeah, probably not that high on me. It's probably up there like a seven. You like the spicier ones. Though. Yeah. I like the spicier stuff. So which one was uh, your favorite and which one was your least favorite? Uh, the gum was really good. I'm with you. I like that one. You gave it a 10. The cookie was really good too. The masapan. Yeah. A little bit tough to eat. I need to figure right. out your technique because yeah. you broke it up perfectly. Mine just shattered. Least favorite? Least favorite. This one is not. Not, Not it. I thanks think that, for uh, I think that's your favorite. thanks for trying out these candies with me. Thanks for uh, having me. <laughs> yeah, all of these right here, part of my childhood for sure.